This is cute, but kind of creepy. Hi, hello YouTube! I'm here with something that I think is going to be so much fun. It's this brand new game that came out this week on Steam. It's called Cozy Grove. It's by developers Spry Fox, and it's fairly new. There's not a whole lot that I know about it. I'm really excited to be playing this game. It looks adorable, and we're gonna try it out, so let's go! Look how cute this is. You got a little campfire, the bear, but you can tell it's a little spooky. Got some weird crows here, but we're gonna go ahead and just hit start. Every spirit is struggling with something, but it may take them a while to open up about it. Resources regrow over time if you can't find more fish or come back another time. Welcome to the Spirit Scouts. Before you head out on your first solo camping trip, fix yourself up. Okay. The body shop. I don't want to be like that pale, but I am pretty pale. I'll go with the palest one. Mm. I want pink eyes. No blue hair. That's okay. Go with brown, because that's light brown hair. I don't want to go with black, although my hair does seem really close to black. I'll go with black. Looking good. All right. Now it's time to begin your camping trip. You open the letter you carried from the rowboat. It says, Dear Spirit Scout, Welcome to the island of Cozy Grove. Utilities and other public services are not available on the island, so please check your provisions. Rangers from the mainland rarely visit the island. You will need to be self-sufficient. Note that previous campers have reported run-ins with bears in the area, so use caution. Have fun and keep your fire burning. Scouting services. Spirit Scout motto. All those who are lost deserve kindness. Okay. So I'm just gonna go, here's my little campfire. Flamey, cough, cough, cough. How old are those starter logs, Scout? Tastes like a century at least. So where have you brought us this time? Ooh, haunted bear infested island, okay. Um, some place called Cozy Grove. Cozy Grove, I know the name. I've licked it off old brochures, tossed into my embers. Okay. I sense dozens of wounded, restless spirits here, desperate for help, but not conscious of it. This doesn't seem like the sort of place young spirit scouts typically go for their first solitary excursion. Ah well, if you were sent here, the scouts must have been confident you'd be up to the task. Are you ready to see what's out there beyond my firelight? No. <laughs> what if I say no? Uh, I think so? Good enough. I see the ghost of a ranger at the edge of the woods. She's been waiting there a long, long time. Don't be scared, Scout. Go introduce yourself. After all, you're here to help. Okay, so... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is actually really, really cute. What is this? Oh my gosh, Charlotte Pine. Huh? Another imaginary camper? Must have brewed my Lady Grey a little strong this morning. Unless, say, you're not a real living person, are you? Yes, I am. Well, I haven't heard news this exciting since the baby warblers hatched. Welcome to Camp Cozy Grove. I'm Charlotte, your local ranger. Also a ghost. If you run into any problems, I'm your bear. Say, that uniform of yours... It looks familiar. Oh my, you're a spirit scout. That does change the forecast a bit. Puts the sun behind the clouds, so to speak. That's right, 100% bona fide scout. Is that a problem? A problem? Hmm. You're not the first spirit scout to visit this island. Many years ago, another ambitious youngster summoned a fire here in hopes of earning her final merit badge. Oh. 
It did not go as planned. No use dwelling on the past, though, is there? You're here now, friend. She's not. If you're planning to stay the night, remember the first rule of wilderness survival. Keep warm. Somewhere around here is a wood log. Find it and toss it on the fire. That should make things a little cozier for both of us. Okay. So, drop spirit wood on the fire. Do I have to find spirit wood? I don't have any. Okay, I have to find spirit wood. Um. Oh, is it like right here? Okay. How do I... What would you like to do? Here's a log for you. Whoa! This is spirit wood! Where did you get this? It was just sitting under a tree. Well, first of all, thank you. It's delicious. But the presence of spirit wood confirms my suspicions. The haunting of Cozy Grove runs deep. There are many lost souls here in need of your help. They can't rest until someone has helped them come to terms with their past lives. They may not even remember who they are or how they died, if enough time has elapsed since they passed away. Ah, that spirit wood has fully caught fire now. My light is expanding. More of the island is waking. Lost places are being remembered. I see someone new, a crafter of useful things. Ooh, little flamey. Charlotte Pine. Say, that's a nice fire you have going. Still a bit small though, huh? See if you can find more spirit wood out there. A little warmth would do this island good. A healthy fire is sure to call some distant campers home. Ooh, I learned a new badge. Okay, story advanced. So, what is this? Reach fire level two rewards. 100 old coins. Great job. Okay. Boom. Done. Uh, okay. So... Oh, this shows me, like, my quest is over here? Ooh, another little ghosty. Oh, but there's some coins. Can I collect these? I will collect these first and then get back to you. Ah! Shouldn't explore too far. I don't really know what's happening yet. Here we go. Who is this going to be? Oh my gosh, look at this. He looks like a little scuba diver. Jeremy Gruffle. Oh, I guess you can see me. So sorry. I figured I'd be invisible. You're sorry? For what? For haunting a perfectly good island. The last thing I want is to drift around the afterlife. Glowing blue, getting in the way of upstanding folk like yourself. It's unseemingly. Until I find out why I'm stuck here, I'm afraid I'll be haunting us both. Maybe I can make it up to you, maker buddy. Not to brag, but I'm pretty handy as ghosts go. Bring me three branches, okay? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Branch. It was close to a giant clamshell. Okay, so I need to find a branch. Clamshells might be by water. Oh, here's a branch. Okay, got one. Oh, here's another one. Two. Yeah. Oh, and there's a clamshell. Gotcha. Boom. Okay, what are you gonna make me? Look at these sticks. What beauties. A twist here, a scoop there, and voila. Your first shovel. Not my finest work. My paws kept slipping through the lathe. But if you want to dig up those soft dirt mounds around the island, that shovel will do the trick. See, spirits, I've helped this poor scout. My haunting is complete. I'm still here, aren't I? Darn it. Darn it. One flimsy shovel isn't going to do it, is it? Of course not. Well, don't worry. I'm full of ideas for tools. I'll give you all the help you need to stay cozy in our grove. Hope that shovel works out. Oh, and have a spirit log, too. Okay, so I got... Oh, look at him! Oh! Okay, so he's gonna be my little... My little... Dude! Oh, look at this. Look at that! Oh my gosh, okay. So I'm gonna go collect these little coins. 
So I've got a shovel. I've got a spirit log. Oh, I probably have to give this to the fire. Oh, how do I how do I dig this up? Oh, I can just click on it. Okay. Ooh, what is this? Is that potato? Ha! Ah, I received potato. It was a potato. Sweet potato. Nice. Okay. We'll give this guy another spirit log. See what he opens up for us. Well done! My light is expanding again. I now see an old friend. Mr. Kit has noticed our beacon and set up his canteen shop. Huh. He looks quite at home here. But wait. There's more. I see a strange and salty figure standing on the shore. And as he has arrived, something else has vanished. Something important. Oh dear. Best go see for yourself. Hmm. The cliffhanger. Okay. Um. What do I have to do? Can I put these like... Oh, I can hold my shovel. Can I help you with something? Sometimes you can find things on this island simply by exploring with a keen eye. But other times, you need to get your hands dirty. Have you noticed those leaf piles lying around? Try digging through those when you come across them. You'll be surprised at what you find. Just the other day, I thought I saw an old book peeking out of the leaves. Okay. Wilderness Guide. I think I spotted it near a skull tied to a stake. Buried under a leaf pile. This is cute, but kind of creepy. Oh, this is the canteen. Oh my gosh. Look at how cute this is. I have little foxies on my shirt today. Ah, okay. I'll buy your stuff. Let me talk to you. Mr. Kit. Why, hello there, prospective shopper. I must confess, when I followed your fire, I never expected to end up here again. The island's fallen into quite a state since my last visit. But how rude of me. I haven't properly introduced myself. You may call me Mr. Kit. I know your name, of course. But... I am far too polite to repeat it. I have a standing agreement with the Spirit Scouts, you know. Wherever you go, Kit's Canteen shall be there for all your buying and selling needs. The only catch? I set the prices. How can I help you today? Can I buy something? Take a look at all the shiny new stuff. Ooh, a fishing rod. I'm gonna buy it. Sounds great, take my money! Okay. So, I'm gonna do some fishing. What am I trying to do here? Oh, there's a skull. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, it's right here. Wilderness guide. Oh, I found it, okay. What do I do with it? Oh, I have to go over here. Oh, there's another little ghosty! Ooh. Oh, it's a crow! Captain Bill Weather Snout. In life, I was a bear of the sea. I sped from. It's a bear. What? Hold on. <laughs> okay, that looks like a beak to me, sir. But I sped from Cozy Grove to the main and back again a hundred times over. Unnatural, some said, for a bear to fly twixt the waves as I did. But did I listen? No, I did not. Okay. And now I am transformed. There we go. A vast young person. How long have ye been standing there? Ye caught me reciting my origins. I am Captain Billweather Snout. Snout? Though some now call me the Seagull Bear. Okay, that makes sense. So, are you a bear or a seagull? A bit of both. Squawk. Tis a strange thing to be a seagull bear. My two halves have precious little in common. Except, of course, for a love of fish. Speaking of, are you hungry, young sailor? Fetch me a fishing rod and I'll show you what's on the menu. I got a fishing rod. I bought one already. Hey, sailor. That will do. That will do nicely. 
Well, what are you waiting for? If you want to find us a proper meal, you're going to have to pluck it from the deep yourself. Take the rod and catch us a whopper. All right. Oh, look at him. Oh my gosh, this is like the cutest. This is blowing my mind how adorable this is. Okay, I'm gonna assume I just go to the water and fish. Drag back on the fishing rod icon above your head to cast and release. Oh! Okay. Well, that's cute. Now how do I... I'm gonna assume I just like click it. Yeah! Collapse lungfish! It's so cute. Maybe I'll finally be good at fishing in a game. Maybe there's not one coming because I have to finish the part of the tutorial first. I'll just go back. I see you've already been testing out your rod. Yeah, you just told me to. Ah, fine fin you've managed to dredge up there. Good eating. I think ye and I will have plenty of time for fishing. Now that your boat's washed out to sea. What? My boat? <laughs> ah, yes. A loose knot and fickle tide was all it took to send your vessel on its merry way back to Neptune's bosom. Don't blame yourself. This island's a maelstrom of ill fortunes churned by our wretched tales of ghostly woe. Until we spirits find a measure of peace, none may leave this place. So, young sailor, though you're a living scout and I'm a ghost, we have something in common. We're both stranded here on Cozy Grove. Whatever plans ye had of solving all our ghostly problems in a single evening, put them out of your mind. We bears aren't your overnight project anymore. We're your neighbors. Squawk. I got a spirit log. And then this is all... Adding color now. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. So I'm gonna get some little coins. I think I can maybe... Is that a dinosaur? Rough flamingo tongue. Oh, yeah. We have to do the wilderness. Okay. Let's, um... That's it! Why, it's an old Spirit Scout wilderness guide. And hey, the memento collection portion of this book's still intact. That's where scouts track their progress, helping local spirits. Which I have to admit, you've gotten a pretty good start on. I'll hold on to this book and use it to track your progress, helping these spirits of Cozy Grove. Would you like to look at the memento collection book now? Yeah. That's a spirit. Here it is. Okay, I found 13 of 17. Shoreline, 1 of 2. Okay. 2 of 6. Oh, another spirit wood. Ooh. Aww. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at the sign. Can we just talk about how cute this is for a second? Like, what? Oh, I can collect some rewards. Okay. Complete the introductory tutorial. Nice. Bear necessities. Meet bears three. Okay. Quartz gemstones. Ooh. Let me just see what I've got here for items. Sell for coins. Okay, so this one I can just sell. This I can eat. That I can eat. We'll give him a spirit log and then we'll just see what, what is next. Delicious! Hmm, that's strange. I'm still hungry. I think one more spirit log should do it, though. I sense a log in your bag. Hmm. Ah, another healthy dose of positive spirit energy. You're doing well, young scout. The more you help these ghosts, the more they will remember. It may go slowly at first, but trust and understanding is not a thing you can manufacture quickly. Help these bears. Guide them through remembering themselves. Eventually, they will find peace. Ah, my light shines further, illuminates lost corners in time. I see another figure absorbed with finding and delivering lost things to everyone but himself. You two have that in common, I think. Fire seems brighter. You are now scout rank four. All right. Um, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do though. Okay, I'm gonna assume I talk to Charlotte Pine. I'm gonna go to Mr. Kit though and sell this flamingo tongue. Oh, I want a new look. There's a body shop. I want to buy clothes. Ooh, what is this? Large mustache, leaf cap little red top. Oh, that's cute. I don't have enough coins. 
Oh my gosh. I just need to save up all my money. I got it. We'll buy clothes. I want to sell stuff. I'm going to sell this. Sounds great. Here you go. Okay. Are you selling anything? Oh, what are these things now? Okay, so there's just like a lot of stuff here. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot to this game. We'll talk to Charlotte Pine. Can I help you with something? You know, we aren't the only spirits that could use your help. Sometimes lost or needy animals visit these woods. In fact, I think one wandered into Mr. Kit's shop just this morning. It may look like a simple charm of a young, placid bird. If you buy it and bring it to me, I'll show you its secrets. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I didn't just, like, buy anything random. We'll go and buy the little blue one. I want to buy something. Boom. 250 coins. Not impressed. I'm trying to save my money for the cute clothes. Take this to Charlotte, and maybe she'll give me my money back. Probably not. Yes, this is the bird charm I was talking about. Seems like a simple trinket, doesn't it? But when it's placed on the ground, it transforms into its true self. A ghost bird. If they're given specific foods and kept near things they like, they will thrive. The poor bird is hungry. I'll order some food it will like, but the food won't arrive until tomorrow. In the meantime, let's find it a spot to live. Why don't you place this animal on the ground near your campfire? You'll receive a letter in about 17 hours and 54 minutes. Okay. I have to place this near my campfire. Oh, I can place it here? Okay. Do I, do I talk to it? Can I pet you? Oh my gosh! I don't have a donut for you, though. I think it's a donut. We're gonna... Give this guy another log. More! Only four more logs before I'm full. I sense at least three logs out there. Maybe close, maybe far. Aw, dang it! Okay. Collect. Oh my gosh, this thing looks- okay. <laughs> There's nothing not cute about this game. What? Can I cook food on this thing? I want to burn something. Like potato? into three roasted root vegetables. Okay. So I can cook food. Six roasted, okay. So I'm getting a lot of root vegetables from these. I don't even know like when or how I need to eat or anything, but. We'll figure that out. So what's next? I think I have to go find more spirit logs. Can I like collect these oranges? Harvest. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I harvest things. So this is like Stardew Valley. Can I help you with something? Hey there, maker buddy. I'm pretty sure I owe you an apology. For what? I made you that slipshod shovel earlier, hoping a good deed would get me out of being a ghost. Of course, it hasn't worked out. Maybe because the shovel I gave you, it's not my best work. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I'm gonna need some softwood, root vegetables, and wood branches. Oh yeah, I have lots of root vegetables. I need three more branches though. So let's see if we can go collect some branches. I don't see any down there. Maybe we'll try up here. If I could find like another tree to harvest something off of. I don't wanna go too far though because I don't really know what I'm doing still. Oh, there's a little ghosty there, okay. Let me do a quick Okay, let's talk to this one and see who this is. <laughs> Patrice Furback, the postal bear at your disposal. Oh my gosh. You know what? When I joined the service, I figured I'd be in it for life. And I was. But I never suspected the job would keep going after. Let me tell you, delivering mail to ghosts? That's a whole new bag. A whole new mail bag? Ooh, busting out the postal humor from the jump? You and I will get along just fine. Before I went boots up, my work had a certain routine. 
Deliveries for local residents arrived at the town post office at 0800 sharp. I relayed those deliveries to the listed residences. Ghost deliveries, though, they're processed through the psychic plane. They just show up wherever and whenever they want to. I ran patrol this morning looking for new arrivals, but I'd bet a spirit log there are more packages out there waiting to be tracked down. I have to go find package? I have to come back down here. Oh, and he needs something too. Oh, I have all these quests now. A chill wind blows ashore. Ghost that I am, it blows clean through me, sending a shiver through my bones and my very soul. A few more feathers under my coat might soften the breeze a bit. Too bad I just molted. Okay, so I have to find five feathers. I got a bunch of quests here. Oh, but I can probably pick this up and sell it to Mr. Kit there. What is this? Ah. This looks like something I can pick up and sell. It's a nice little shell. Oh, a feather! Ooh. Can I give you a little pet again? Ah, oh, I love this thing. I got him. I don't have a donut for you though. I'm trying. I'll find one. Ooh, I just found a bunch of stuff. Can I sell this? That's great. Here you go. Okay. Um, I think this is probably a good place to call it right now. I've got quite a few quests lined up. I've done like my little introductory thing. Yeah, I think this is. Uh, I think this is a good spot to save and exit. Saving. Okay. And there we have it. Okay. What did you guys think? I think this game is going to be really, really fun to play. It is cuter than I could have even imagined it was going to be. It's definitely like Animal Crossing vibes. It's got a little bit of Stardew vibes, totally up the alley of what I enjoy playing. If you like this game and you want to see more of it, give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos or potential future episodes of this game. Once again, this was Cozy Grove by Spry Fox. Super cute. It seems like it's going to be a great game. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye! Thank you.